Welcome everyone to a new series. It's Tale of Enki Pilgrimage. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and I was sent a key to this game by the developer, Jordan Allen, um, I think in the end of January, so it's actually been quite a long time, but at the time I was deep into Octopath Traveler, and I didn't feel like taking on any side projects, but I definitely wanted to come back to this and play it, because I was getting some Breath of Death 7 slash Cthulhu Saves the World vibes. In this game, you take on the role of an ogre, he runs into some family issues, and I think he wants to prove himself. I don't know too much about the game or the story because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. But yeah, so you play the tale of a monster, so if that doesn't make you think of Z-Boy games, I don't really know what will. So without any further ado, let's move into this. Actually, let's check what kind of options we've got. Okay, we've got my keys. I'm using my Xbox One controller. I'm just gonna lower this, maybe by one. A little loud in my, in my earphones, so I don't know about you guys. And let's get started. Uh, 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 time to get up, then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give him that kind of voice. It's a shelf filled with ver various herbs, spices, and other things that aren't worth my time. A little hard to read this, uh, the font. Received seven, co seven coupons. Don't mind if I do. There's nothing in this pot. Contain a hundred coupon. Nice. That must be his parents' bed? I don't know. Is this RPG Maker? I think it is. But it's weird because, I don't know, I guess it works. Ah, oh, you're finally awake, dear. Gap, gap. Uh, about damn time, too. It's almost midday. Yeah, whatever. What's for breakfast? What's that, you little br rat? Oh, no. Nothing. No, not this time. I'm sick of your laziness and the disrespectful attitude. Get out of my house. Fine. I have nothing to do all day. If you want me, I'll be napping at the river. I don't think you're misunderstood. Uh, I think you misunderstood me, my, my worthless son. Get out of my house and don't come back until you learn some manners and how to be useful around here. I'm sick of your freeloading. Gargle. Oops. No, Yerza. Enough is enough. He's a man now and needs to be thought a lesson. Gargan, I don't expect to see you back here for at least a few weeks. Uh, get out of here. Don't come back without something to prove you've grown up. You're a man now and you make no effort to feed yourself, get a job, or start a family. You don't come back, <coughs> then so be it. It's no loss to me. Mother! You know, it isn't my decision, honey. Listen to your father. This seems extreme. Can't I just do chores? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna do a scratchy voice for his father. It's making my throat itchy. Extreme would be to cut your head off, but I'm so no monster. This is the easy way to get back in my good graces, so I suggest you take it. Can he at least say goodbye before he leaves their zoos? Oh, uh, I'll allow that. As soon as you leave the village, these doors are closed to you until you prove you're a man. Fine, but you're going to look like a fool when I get back. Fine, that'll mean you won't be completely hopeless. Yep. <coughs> Silence! It's for his own good. <laughs> what, have I, what am I doing to myself? My goodness. I am recovering from a slight cold, so my throat was itchy to begin with. It's a shelf with a bunch of useless potions. It's a shelf filled with various herbs, spices, and other things that aren't worth my time. Gap, gap. All right. It's a simple fireplace. It'll probably light it during the evening. Oh, I've chopped enough firewood and I'm sick of the sight of it. I hope not every item has a description. There's nothing in this pot. There's nothing in this pot. There's nothing in this pot. It's just an empty barrel. Don't mind if I do. Receive potion of health. I'm sorry, dear. This time I think your father's right. It's time you grow up. I didn't tell you to get out. Didn't I tell you to get out? Okay, all right. We're out of here. We're out of here. How to prove him wrong? Starting a family would take too long, so would running a farm. What's father's greatest accomplishment? He's always talking about the pilgrimage he took to the temple of Yulton. I've got it. 
I'll come up and actually bring back Yilton's sacred warhorn. He'll regret ever teaching me how to fight once I show him I'm better than him. I need to make my way to Rightport, but that's Enkian territory. I don't even know the way. I'll see if anybody in Nerzuth knows it. The inn, maybe? Gargle's house. Of course, there gonna be a bunch of things I can do. I hope. I hope like I don't have to explore every item. It's a purple. It's a purple mushroom. Perfectly edible, but perfectly bland. So I'm just gonna leave it. It's a red mushroom, highly toxic but tasty if cooked. Contains potion of health. All right. How do I open equipment? I don't know if this is RPG Maker. If it is, they've done a dark, good job at uh, disguising it. <coughs> Excuse me. Journal. Quest progression, we have none. All right, let's just keep moving then. Well, we tried this already, right? It's a red mushroom hunt, but tastes if cooked. It's a purple mushroom, perfectly edible, but perfectly bland. Greetings, young ogre. Do you have time for a tale? If I am a bot, uh, I am a bot extraordinaire. What's an Enkian doing out here? Um, sure, sing me a song. It better be good. When you fight, young warrior, please line up your attacks. Then you'll execute at once and never look back. What does that mean? It means that when you're fighting, you can target the same enemy multiple times or, or different enemies. Then once you've planned that, you must perform an execution. I see. Noted. I'm working on some new tunes about status effects, too. Uh, that's okay. I don't really care about status effects. I'm a brute. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. Uh, it's another red mushroom. I I know what they do by now. I can cook them, but they're toxic. Don't touch the communal treasure chest. Uh, I can't read, so I'm just gonna keep going this way. I just walked th right through it. Interesting. So I can use my level 1 woodcutter axe, which has a plus 3 to hit, and then a critical of 1d4 plus 1. So this is like a D and D numbers are actually doing rolls. Bonus is a basic unarmed attack. <clears throat> Why is that bonus? Is that just bonus info? I guess we'll use this. How do I... Man, did I just cancel that? Oh no, I can actually chain them. Okay, okay. There you go, we'll do four of these attacks. Not enough stamina. Well, how do I execute? Oh, there you go. Run from battle, execute. There you go. One. Oh. We earn two, what is that, diamonds? And we got, oh, the coupons. <clears throat> or just smaller coupons, I guess. I don't know. Excuse me as I take a sip of water. All right, another one of these. Let's just keep hitting him with the ax. I don't think there's any reason not to go this route. Are there levels in this game? Let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. So monsters, it, this does not pause the game. Another critical. You have defeated all your enemies. All right. So status. Um, level, 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 level. Uh, this might use like. Milestone leveling or something. I don't see anything in here that. Oh, there you go. Man, my controller is really. St doesn't register all my up clicks and sometimes it double clicks for me. I tried blowing air into it. But I don't think it's done anything. Yeah, I can't see anything that talks about it never. As an ogre, Gargan has a natural bonus to his strength and is well suited to physical damage. His usage of nature magic provides him with some decent support abilities. Oh. I don't think I have any magic right now. Hey, how many times do you have to look at the mushroom to tell you it's just toxic? Talk, maybe give me talk. I don't like talking. I mean, I'll keep fighting these things. Uh, it's, I guess I don't really need to fill up my... I don't need to do multiple hits. I can't really lose, so these are mostly just an... Distraction. One, two, three, four... 
Now, when I installed this game, it said that it was the beta version in the like activation screen, but when, when I go to the store page, it brings me to the actual store page. So maybe I'm thinking maybe I am playing the full version. Uh, so um, maybe, you know, maybe the demo version was easier. Welcome to the village of Nerzuth. How's it going, Gargan? I've been kicked out of home. At least you have a home. I sleep in the bushes. Is that why you're always in that ragged underwear? You're broke? Yes, I, I, how did you not know? Never really cared. <clears throat> Gargan, haven't seen you in a while, boy. I'm just here for some trade. Been doing a lot of hunting lately and have plenty to supply the town. Good to know I'm leaving anyway. Dangle got sick of your mooching. Ah! Cat slap surprise. <coughs> My goodness. Don't mind if I do. Tasty carrot. <coughs> My gosh. So sorry, folks. Maybe I'll make this a shorter episode before I die. And of course, we're going to have to go in every pod and read this text of dialogue. I wish games would just basically... Oh, there you go. I got a carrot. Show you which one. Well, now, if it is a young Gargan. It is. Such a nice young... Uh, such a young, nice young man. You would, would you do an old lady a favor? There will be some tasty treats in store for you if you do. Of course. What do you need? I need you to bring me a carrot. I'm making some soup. There's a bowl of it with your name on it if you do. I already have a bunch of carrots. That's a, that's a strong nose that you've got there for an old lady. You're such a funny young man, Gargan. You're helpful too. Your parents must be so proud. They're abs they absolutely are. Here's that soup I promised. If you have the time, bring me three more. I'm working on a new recipe and there'll be another meal in it for you. Do I smell more carrots? Uh, yeah, sure. Not so funny. I d oh, so funny. I don't know why my husband gives you such a hard time when you visit. He's an old grouch. He definitely is, definitely is. Here's that new recipe I've been working on. Um, oh, this one's delicious. It's a dense, <coughs> dense carrot soup. My goodness. Hmm. Well, if that's all. Next, I'll need three more carrots and a piece of broccoli. Oh, man. Bah, it's you. What are you doing in here, Gargan? Shouldn't you be eating or sleeping somewhere? Doesn't Peachy need a walk? It's always a pleasure, old man, Grumguts. Yeah, yeah, go on your way now. If you're looking for something to do, must join out some soup recipes. Um, you're an ogre, why don't you just freaking destroy that door? We already got three carrots here, so... I'll take one more. Is this... This is a... Uh, the tasty carrot? Oh, they're all tasty carrots. And, uh, it shouldn't take any more. Okay. Got the inn here. Gargan, can you even afford to, to stay here? No, let's just talk. It's strange that we've uh, we've had both an Enkian and the Lokor visit the inn. I don't get a lot of people staying here. It's usually our fellow villagers coming for food and drink. Why don't you just take him then? You're an ogre. There's a shelf filled with various herbs, spices, and other things that aren't worth my time. Same thing. Got a horse. <coughs> ah, please be. Leave me be. Fine, be that way, jackass. Hey, you. Stay that axe, young ogre. I've done nothing to you and don't want to have a spear through the gut. Huh? Have I spoken too soon? Yeah. Why are you so jumpy? I'm at a loss, my friend. I've actually... Actually, I don't care. I need your help, Enkian. I'll listen to you in exchange. I'm not sure that's how a fair deal. First, tell me what you want. If I agree, then you listen to my woes before we take any action. Fine, whatever. I'm trying to get to the Enkian village of Wrightport and want guaranteed safe passage. You know my people won't attack you without just cause, right? I've barely left the village before. I have no idea. Why do you want to get to Wrightport? 
According to my father, as a pathway to temple of one of our most famous war uh, herds, Yultan Brutal Scar, Enkian set up a village there a few years ago, and I thought it, it was off limits. You're surprisingly sheltered very well. I can guide you, but first, you're part of the bargain. Yeah, fine. Well, I'm an aspiring knight and want to eventually ascend to being a paladin of Joran. Unfortunately, the Order of Joran here in Catherine are too willing to make compromises with criminals. So? No compromises. Huh? Sorry, I lost my cool. I I'm just passionate about my ensuring justice prevails as soon as possible. I don't like the idea of letting one criminal go free in order to capture another. Both could be captured, but that would mean going back on a deal and... Yeah, sounds good. Right, let's go. Your enthusiasm is wondrous. Direction? To the woods to the northeast and to the town of Lindum. All right, let's go. Ruganas, the Lightbringer. I'm waiting for the title to stick. You are Gargan. Ogres need to earn last names. Fair enough, to each his own. Well, well met, Gargan. Rook has joined the party. There you go. Our first party member. <clears throat> Let's check what this is. It's an item shop. Or no thanks, but unless I'd consider it. I smell a lot of odd scents coming from these sacks. There's enough bookshelves filled with books as it is. Some potions of healing, that's a tempting swipe. Who would ever use a bow? It's a weapon fit only for a Lokora and Volpa. Same thing. Shelf potions. <coughs> Potion, potions, empty barrel, nothing in the pot, nothing in the pot. What about this guy? Gargan, can I help you? Yeah, let's shop. I think your bad reputation is unfair. You're lazy, coddle, and rude, but you're a skilled hunter whenever you're forced into it. You just haven't got a knack for business or that much intelligence. Uh, I guess I had already... Oh, okay, I didn't do it at the right thing. I've got unlimited and I've got limited these. Nice! How much are these? 150. I guess I could always just go and grind those like peach things. And these are seam. All right, let's just get. I don't want to buy anything. And can we go in the back? No, it's locked. All right, we won't go in the back then. Well, um, let's see here. Can I save? Can I save? Options? No. Quit game. I don't want to quit game. Journal, party, equipment, inventory. Uh, I'm assuming maybe if we go to the inn, can we afford the inn? What if I buy a room? How much? The peasant room is low quality and will heal four hit points. The standard room will heal eight hit points. Okay, how much is ten? One peasant room. One. Yeah, sure. Let's just do the one. Whoa! Look at that. We've got pictures. Very neat. And that's it. No saving. How does one save? Colonel, uh, soup, party, party, party. All right, it must be on off of, the, the village must go on for a bit. All right, well, anyway, I guess I'll figure that out on my own and, uh, oh, this must be it. What is this? Pray to the altar of Croth so your deeds will be remembered. There you go, I almost, I would have turned off the game without it. Would you like to record your deeds? I sure I have no idea which one is, is the yes highlighted right now. I think it there you go Game saved all right since my throat is playing tricks on me and I'm coughing in the microphone I will end this episode a little bit earlier than usual But uh, don't take that I me giving up on the game. We will go through this game together I don't think it's that long and it seems pretty neat as it is. It's a different take on the uh, JRPG uh, formula, so that's kind of neat so as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and uh, subscribing. Let me know what you think of Enki, or Tale of Enki, uh, Pilgrimage, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.